good morning. It is Thursday morning. God, this week's gone so quick, but loads has been done. Um, on the way to the student job, so it's meant to rain all day today. So I think uh, obviously the Shield Road job's fine because the windows there, the tiles, the bathroom suites getting delivered. Uh, they're going to go and pick the shower tray up. Um, God, I ordered the shower tray on eBay and it said 48 hour delivery. So I ordered it, it was meant to be arriving today. And I got a text saying that it was coming a week today. And I was like, emailed, it, like messaged the company and said, I, uh, you know, you really shouldn't advertise stuff as 48 hour delivery if you're going to make it 192 hours delivery. You know, it's not, not the same. Obviously, I'm, I'm buying it for that reason. So now, it was £105 on eBay for the exact same shower tray. Now we're having to go to Clifton Bathrooms, who ring me up all the time, trying to get me to like um, buy our bathroom suites from them. Um, and yeah, they're £260 for the same tray. And it's like annoying, but it's annoying because we said twelve hundred for the shower tray, but for some reason um, the lads done it eleven hundred, and like loads of places have twelve hundred showers on the shelf, but they don't have eleven hundred. So it's a bit annoying, um, but yeah. As long as we crack on and it doesn't slow the job down, but there's like an example of like having things in place and ordering stuff. So that's going to save what 155 quid would have saved. Um, and the company just false advertising as well. So on the student job now, we're gonna if it doesn't rain, we can put a mix on and things because I think Lewis is in today. Uh, the apprentice bricklayer so I'm trying to sort out his PAYE so for those who don't know who you're taking an apprentice on um, you've got to, they've got to be set up PAYE and it's this time of the year that they do it so at the minute he's got college um, timetable which is every day over the Thursday so he's in with us on a Thursday however if he goes on to the apprenticeship he'll be in with us every day except he'll be in college for one day a week uh, which would be better for him. Um, but they won't let him do it until this PAYE code has been set up and you have to do a nil return to get to activate it. Otherwise, you've got to wait a month and do the monthly things. You can do them weekly, but obviously you're paying your accountant every week to do the PAYE. So I'll just do it monthly for the apprentices. Um, so they bring the costs down and um, we're going to get the rest of the easy joisting floor in. I'm going to go and pick up the, or I'm going to order the ridge steel for the loft. Maybe pick that up, the pad stones. And then we've got two steels at the back where we've done the little extension just to make the kitchen slightly bigger. Um, so they can go in today and then we're going to prep the ground floor for uh, concrete and we've got the shifters and stuff there so we're going to take those rather than double labour we're going to take that to another job we're starting a double story wrap round extension for one of Rachel's cousins um, so we'll take the shifters to that job which we're meant to be starting Monday but we'll see um, and that way you know we're not double labour Right, the students are back, and as you can see, there's absolutely nowhere to park on this road. Can I get here? It, yes, it doesn't help that you've got... Oh, right outside the job as well. It doesn't help that I've got an extra large wheelbase sprinter as well. But yeah, I'm going to see whether he's got the um, bit for me van, because it's squeaking like the bugger. Right, let's go and see how they're getting on. Shifters. Shifters on as well, the effing. Effing? 
I wonder what was happening then. It's them dropping bricks. I was thinking I might knock something through. <laughs> Alex Sands, he's got, Ronnie's got all that welding done as well. Yeah, he's welding Us. all it. He said next time, no, he said... Yeah. Get an angled plate. No, the, the, way, the way they're cutting them, see that gap at the top there, Andy? Yeah. He said, he needs it. Yeah, right on, a, on, the very... on a diagonal. Yeah, they wouldn't do that. No. This, this one, like, we've had to, like... He said, he said if, if that's the case, it might be better just, just get, get a length. Just the, the normal, the normal, yeah. Mate, yeah. And cutting them. Where's your high viz? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Where's yours? Uh, yeah, look. Where's yours, lad? Look. Andy. Andy. What's it doing in your bag? Hey, you see, you yeah. lost your friends. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, right, let's have a look at this. So, are you just getting the pad stones ready for that? So we've got two steels going there. If you measure them now, I'll go and order them now. I'll go and pick them up. Yeah. Um, and then... We've, got, we've just got those two and the ridge steel. That's it for steels then on this job, isn't it? Sounds. Um, is it, is it going to rain all day? It's saying on, the, on both weather apps that it is. Where's this one meant to be? In the middle. Lou, do you want to get, get that wall and this wall prepped? You know, with the. Uh, I've got clamps in my van. I've got F clamps in my van. Get the um, metal. Um, what are they called? Profiles. Get the profiles up ready. Yeah, get them two on each corner of that, and then it'll make it quicker for you. And then I'll show you, on like, on like these ones. Yeah, I'll show you. So when when you're doing like these garden walls, get your profile. Um, what's happened there? Is that where we've gone too wide? That's where it's wrong. I put a string line on it yesterday. That's how much it was out. Yeah. So if that ever happens again, just take them all off and start again. Is it? Yeah. I mean, take them off now and start again because. Right to the bottom. Well, to there, wherever, that, wherever that's gone wrong. Yeah. So which one have you stringed it from there to there? No. They was already started there. Ben told me to, to put the profile on there. Use it. Make it plump. And then run it from so, the string line to I'll show you. I'll show you how I would have done it. I'd have, put a, I'd have put a profile here. Yeah, I did put a profile on. Yeah. I'll put it on. On this side here, mate, yeah? Well, yeah, look, I'd have, I'd have put it, put one here now, yeah. and you'll clamp it into one of these, right? Oh, you mean on that side there? Yeah, yeah. and then what you're going to do is you're going to go over here, and what you're going to do is you're going to put screws into each mortar line. Yeah, I had the screw in that mortar line, yeah. Yeah, screw in this, all these mortar lines and one in that one, and that's your, that's your level. Yeah. So that's your, that's your level. From that to that, so that way, Water that wall, wall so that wall matches wall match. perfect. And you've got your plumb for here, yeah. for the door frame. So you can do that do side, that, that side, that, put that, the two that. profiles, but th get this up as soon as we can, because this is like... I didn't want to throw a full mix on and waste it. Maybe. Yeah, no, this no, is no, this no. is where, like, you know, we want to get this, and we need to get rid of this, because, you know, I'm saying, and is that all ours as well, isn't it? Yeah, that's from now. Most of it. Okay, so we need to. I need to take the tipper, and then come back and get rid of all this, because we can't keep leaving it like this. You know, with the, and that is our window. I where, imagine, where, I imagine it is. Mate, where, but, we're as bad as the uh, the rest of the people on the on here now, aren't we? I imagine so, it is, but I went here where it got put there. So let's try and let's try and get rid of this today. So I'll go and empty that tipper, come back, and we'll get this on. Is it worth setting the shifters up for that or not? How far are you going with it? Onto the van. Oh, you know, how far? We, we want it totally clear. Gonna, we want to build this wall and go, right, that's nothing to do with us well, now. There's loads of shit been dumped on top of Yeah, you know, I've got a video of like before, and we're just getting rid of the soil and the bricks that were ours. Yeah, man. Yeah. But we need to get rid of that ASAP because the longer we leave that, it's just crap from us. Yeah, okay. Um, and then start obviously bricking this up if the weather's. I mean, it doesn't look like it's going to rain, does it? It looks kind of like maybe like an odd I checked, shower. I checked and it didn't, it's saying all day, like 5% rain, but... Um, okay, sometimes it's a bit... But yeah, if you want to get this all prepped then, so get the screws in, get the profiles on, and then we'll start... Spray a lap and No, no, get that done first, yeah. yeah. Um, let's have a look. So, where have you string line, Phil, from there to there? Or just to, just to here? 
So we don't know whether it's online with that one, basically. So it might be okay there. Yeah. So Lou, go and get uh, an impact driver, some screws. Put screws in every course, either side. And then let's string line uh, this course. If that course is fine, yeah. we'll just knock these ones off. It's fine. Yeah. But if that ever happens again, yeah. do it gradually. Because these walls, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it was a lean. But, like that, and but don't, like... don't, you know what I mean? If I come now and I go, like, if I was a customer, I'd go, what the, like, yeah. what the hell is that? I'm not paying for that. Yeah. Whereas if you do it gradually, yeah. you easy. wouldn't know it, it you know, it'd all be plumb at the end. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, knock, knock them off, loose to that, and we'll hope that that bit is string lined with the wall. Yeah. Knock all that. Yeah. yeah, knock it to that, and then we'll, we'll go again. How are these for landing on the joist now? Good. You've got a wider, especially then. <laughs> You've got a wider joist to land on, haven't you? Yep, get it all the time. I didn't realise, so the ones he's done 600 are actually wider joists, aren't they? Uh, no. Yeah. Not all yeah, of them, those ones over there are skinnier than these two, I think. Yeah, but because they're a shorter span. Oh, yeah. So the ones he's done at 5'6 at 600 spacings are actually a lot wider, aren't they? And the 400 spacings are 3x2, aren't they? Whereas, what's that? 5x2? I think they're still 4x2, the other ones up there on the 4 Oh, 4 4x2, sorry, yeah. What's that, 6x2 then, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. Oh, so. Just so we know next time, there. But these ones here are a bit short, so we might push them that way. Which leads us with like a big gap here, so should we just like build something up off the steel? So if we start pulling these back to the have top, you? If we pull these back to the right spacings. Yeah, but have you? Are you missing one off the wall? No, no. it didn't have one. That was just a plate. Okay. On only, the on the diagram. It was only these two. Yeah, I get you. Side of the triple. Okay. So unless I ring them now, see whether he can knock one of them up. What do you reckon? Because otherwise it, it messes everything up, doesn't it? Like if we need to send the soil pipe through. Oh yeah, yeah. And we got yeah, we've done all this, and then we got one joist right in the middle. It's oh. But you could do it if it sat on that and we could drill a big hole through it. Yeah. Or like you could run a... Oh yeah, no, tell you what. Run a 4 2 Make one. Little studs all the way Yeah, up. do that. Done. So, because it's on the steel, just do what you said, 4 by 2 with uprights every 400. Yeah? So do a top and bottom plate with uprights and, yep. and we'll just make one joist and then we're done. Because it's on the steel, that's fine. Yeah? Yep. Is that any 4 yeah. No. Uh, well, we'll, we'll order some and get ready for marking out and everything. Yeah, it'd just be better get this done. Wait. So we can get this floor here yeah. so we can get that. Yeah, so don't overload it. As in, can you pick some up when you come back from the tip? Dad? Um, and then we'll just try and get rid of all that stuff in the back then. Nice. I would say, so when you see it like this, isn't it? Is when you look and you go like, how big are these? You don't realise how big they are, do you? Till they fit five rooms and two bathrooms on the same floor. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Jack Jones. Oh nice, got that all self level ready for the tiles. And then... Need to channel that out, don't we? Window going in. Face. Window going in, looks good, doesn't it? Did we uh, measure it right? Good. Oh, I'm doing a... Um, I'm going to run to Thingy now. Uh, Oldham Brothers. But just obviously emptying a tipper if you want to throw anything on it. Yeah. Quickly. Do you want to just throw some stuff on this tipper before I take the Oldham Brothers? Yeah, go on. 
Anything you need, you don't need anything for me, do you? Hey, what did you do wrong? What did you do wrong? So I'm looking at this window. Yeah, you've put the steel in too high. Remember we said the whole reason I done that window the same height as that is so that when you look at it from here, it pans round and it's the same height. Oh, he's got it so high. Have you just gone to the old the window? The reason behind it, but we could have that conversation, didn't we? Yeah, so you'll have to needle it again and drop the steel down and take a couple of courses off so that it's the same height as that. You know what I mean? And then when you look in here, it looks... Yeah. Otherwise, now it looks a bit weird being too high. It's like, what, three, two, two and a bit courses high, is it? Have you got the needles in that here, or have they gone back? Um, all right, I'll have to, I'm running to Oldham Brothers, so I'll have to go and pick them back up and bring them. All right, so, as you can see, just leaving Oldham Brothers. So I've emptied one of the tippers and then I've got to go and fill it again now. Oh, it's muddy today. Feel the van sliding everywhere there. See you in a bit. So, they normally cost about... Oh, this hook loader. Where's he going? Normally cost about 150 plus VAT for these tippers. Morning, you right? Good, good. Right, uh, so while this is empty, I'm going to go and pick up the, uh, I don't know, I don't know what's more important, either taking these shifters out for the next job, or, um, or filling this tippet again with the stuff from the back so that the council aren't on us. So probably the council is more important, isn't it? So let's take this back empty, get the, maybe use the shifters. If we've got all the stuff there, we might as well. Let's use the shifters, get that stuff onto here, and then we can um, take it back. So I might be doing a few runs to all the brothers today. <coughs> I'm just on the way to the yard, and I've stopped at another house that the um, cosy living are looking after, and they're getting um, they're getting damp on this. This side of the wall, specifically here. Um, I mean, you can see this is all wet because obviously it's got the thing, so I can't even see where damp proof is. Yeah, so look, um, obviously the damp proof is there. That's where the floor level is. And you can see above that, so if I follow that round, here's the damp proof. And the fact that these are green and soaking wet just means that that damp proof's failed and water's rising up on the inside. So, um, I've just took my shoes off, I can't better put my shoes back on. Can't be bothered doing that. I mean, it looks like 
this would have had a step down, I think, because you can see everywhere's got wet patches. That might be a leak on that, or a leak. There you go. So where they've joined the gutter there, that's come out, and when it rains, that drips here and splashes onto the wall. So when you when you hear about you know bridging the damp proof with rain, so when it lands on obviously concrete and splashes, here's a prime example. So you can see here is exactly where the gutter is driven because you can see that patch there and then this bit's a bit more dirty. So it's landing here and it's actually splashing that high. So that's what surveyors mean when they say having your damp proof too high and splashing above. Now, it's a, it's a problem with um, solid wall because obviously the bricks absorb. If you've got a cavity wall, it's less of an issue. Um, so yeah, they need to get that put back in and I, think, oh, I don't know what's going on with that one there. Look, bushes growing out of it, but I think that's obviously where next door is it, or is that theirs? That sounds a bit of a weird setup, this, isn't it? Like, this is like a crappy garden for the size of the house. And then, is that, is that part of this house or what? Mad, uh, mad houses, these. Absolutely huge. I'm going to have a little look round while I'm here, see if there's any we could uh, buy and do up. But you can see there's all sorts of movements on this house. You've got cracks there, cracks around the lintel. You've got, oh, up there, it's all cracked. Um, that bit slopes in here, and then that bit slopes in there to where, obviously, the, the doorway is there. It's weird. Um, and then, I can't work this out. It, obviously, it was it was meant to have a kink in, but it literally goes that wide there, and then when you get to the top, it's not as wide. <laughs> so I think... I don't know if you can see it there. There's a massive bulge in the uh, above the window. That's huge. Like that, literally. I, I walked in and I was like, "Whoa!" Because I thought that's about to fall. Like how much it's bulging out. I don't, I don't know why that's bulging out. It's not just on that one bit as well. It's a bit weird. But anyway, I was here to. Uh, they've got crap water pressure, and what they've got is a water pump. Uh, so I've just put, I'll do it again, I've just put my little snazzy device. So it goes to, you can test different locations in the house and what it does is it rules out. So I know um, the water main is the other side of this wall. So it comes down here and comes up into the house. So this is pretty close to the water main, I'm guessing. So if I turn that on now, yeah, so these have got two bar of pressure, which isn't bad. I'll Google it now and tell you what the minimum pressure that you get from United Utilities is. And then oh, I'm going to take my shoes off and show you inside, aren't I? That won't help. So next doors need to. Uh, that is coming from the boiler. So that is the condensate pipe for that um, that needs popping back in but that's obviously next doors um, right let me show you inside so I am the other side of that bit I was just showing you the damp and as you can see it's coming up there so um, do you even need to install a damp proof uh, injection pull that plaster off do what we've done at um, Western would be what I'd do there and then here you can see the lead water main coming in. And then what doesn't help is that they've gone from this straight to 15 mil. For this size house, you want to try and run it in 25 for as long as you can. And this is the pump that they keep putting on. So they've had, uh, I think he said he's had two or three of these over the last few years. And obviously they just keep breaking, but you only get a 12 month guarantee with this. So, because that's there, you can see where I've just been with the neighbours bit there. So we can dig that up and put a new water main into here. And at least they should get, you know, a bit more water pressure than two bar. 
and uh, see if that helps and then at least it gets with the lead lead pipe anyway so what you can do with this is because one thing it could be i mean i think the water pressure is actually that'll be restricted on the thing but when I, I went in the kitchen before the water pressure is actually okay but what you can do is you can go around to each water appliance and attach this so i mean that for me is good pressure so i don't know whether it's what you can do is to say you can take um isolate them here take that off pop this on and get like a reading at each each water main and if you've got two bar say where it's coming in where i've just done that hose pipe and then you come to this appliance and you've got one it means that between the stop tapping here someone's crimped the pipe or done something that has restricted the flow and it's not actually the water main so that's one thing to check if you are getting low water pressure but yeah i'm going to recommend you get a new 25 mil um blah, 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 water main uh, which we should be able to install quite easy because it's um on uh, grass so the water main is actually the other side of that wall just there so we'll be able to dig this trench out put a new stop top in connect to that 25 mil and, and away you go so this road oh pretty stall this road we're actually on oh that house is lovely isn't it let me stop and show you this house I've done a good job of that so this road we're on I've been offered a house on here. Look at that one. They've done that lovely, haven't they? I've done all the uh, cleaned all the brick at the front. Looks like they're doing the front door. But I say this, I've been offered a house on this road, but I don't know what number it is. Um, I think it's like a 10 bedroom. Yeah, um, this is one that we could do for assisted living. So I'm just looking now to see if there's any other maybe way of posting some leaflets on this on this road. Because these remind me of the ones that we did. Um, uh, they get a bit smaller this end of the of the street. But yeah, see how many flats we could get out of this and whether the council would take it off us on like a five year lease. Yeah, they're a bit, a bit smaller this end, you're probably looking three or four flats on this side, whereas the other side you may be getting five or six flats. Thank you. Um, but yeah. They're all battered on this road though, do they? Right, I'm off the yard. This is where the shifters pay for themselves literally got from here all the way although I've just seen more maintenance there that the brackets fell off um, as you can see we've got all five on the go here and the lads are clearing the uh, back bit here one sec party pooper Oh, so we need to get through this mound. So we've probably got a couple of tippers there, haven't we? Yeah. But yeah, at least we'll be done with this bit and it'll look tidy again. Oh, it's not like that, no. And lose on the wall. Ben and Scott doing the joists on the second floor let's have a look are you just getting them up or have you started putting them in so i can order the stairs once we get these up because we've got the floor height here and we'll have the floor height up here won't we i'll just turn that music off a sec Sounds and you've boarded all this. Looking good, isn't it? Yeah. Are they heavier? Or are they the same as an AP2? 
Yeah. Come to these next two and you'll find out. Oh, they're in late, Tyson. We got about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the big ones. Yeah. Yeah. The big ones. The six B twos. I saved the last two for you. <laughs> the generous one, eh? Sorry. So if you're wondering what this is, this is, what's it called? It's PU glue, stands for poly, polyurethane. Poly yeah, it like expands and goes rock hard, so it's great for these. And then we can just sand that back and it stops them squeaking as well. Man, how quick this bit moves, isn't it? Yeah. And then I say we're building the dormer next. That's going to be a bit of a pig the way they've done that thing on there for us to get two windows in. We'll just have to do them a bit higher. I don't know why we've done it on the plan, but I'll have a look at it. <laughs> Hold on. I thought that was one and that was one. It's, it's both of them together. Even that's mad. Look the way there's a join there. Like you can still do that and it's still got the same boss in it. They must, have, they must not have much, much waste. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, nice. So we've got all the joists up now. We've got the double stringers bolted in. And what we're going to do now is these are all numbered. So we're going to lift these in. And don't forget to put those 4B2 in, will we? 56, 59, 57, 58. Don't, don't go straight to them, you won't only go between that section and that section. Sam, what do you want to do first, big ones? Yeah. Right, I'll put a time lapse on. So, how, how long do you reckon it'll take us to lift these in? Let's imagine they've just come off the truck and we can just lift them straight in. Should we take them down to the <laughs> Just on the way to Oldham Brothers again, and like, God, a ton of soil is absolutely nothing, especially when it's wet. Like, I'm gonna have to do four or five trips here to get rid of this soil in the back and the bricks. I just can't wait for him um, to be able to. Uh... Have you left? Have you, Sand? All right, see you in a bit. Just Tony's um, at the yard, and the yard's paying for itself again because we've had um, we had some gallow brackets that we had off a job, um, and obviously we took them back to the yard, kept them there, and um, they fitted perfect for this job that we're on now. There's like that little little chimney, little chimney stacks. So we've got two gallow brackets. We can go take that chimney stack further up, fit the gallow brackets, and then. It's, um, it's secured them better than obviously the way they'd left it just open. Um, oh. But he's just rang me then because he set all the alarms off. I didn't realise he was going the yard so I'd, I'd left the alarm on and uh, he just set them all off. So I was just checking it was him on the camera. Oh. I don't know whether to get another siren for the other side of the yard or whether one's enough. It might be about good to have two just in case one has like a mishap or loses signal or do, does whatever, I don't know. Although one of them can be hardwired so that covers at least both scenarios. Right, I'm going to take this soil, I'm going to go back and we're just going to concentrate on getting that soil out while 
Ben and Mick do the joists up on the first floor. The steels have just been delivered from Alexander Steel for the ridge and the knock through to the extension at the back. Um, so yeah, just see where see where we end up tonight uh, after the end of the day. It's two o'clock now, so we've still got a bit. And on the other job, the landlord's just been round with the um, letting agency uh, cosy living and. Uh, landlords like absolutely made up with what we've done um, and wants us to do more now so I think he had it in his head like this budget of what he wants to do and we've done that bit and then obviously um, Joe was saying oh well this that do this that that and I think the landlords then come out because he's like well I want to see what's getting done because similar to most landlords you you know you especially with the new builder you want to you want to check that the um, they are, you know, what the what they're saying they're what they're saying they're doing and what it's costing. And he must have been like really happy with it because now he's asked us to do another ensuite and redo the bathroom. So yeah, the house will be totally different by the time we're done actually. It'll be new kitchen, new living area, new bathrooms, it'll be it'll be a good little a good little investment. How's that? Right? Pulling into Alden Brothers. Pause it, yeah. Right, another empty tipper, although it's just saying to Phil that it's probably about a quid's worth of soil still in this. And he doesn't know whether I'm being serious or not. He's just being a Scrooge again. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's try and see how quick we can get this tipper filled, yeah? Right, we're back. How many more tippers do you reckon we've got? If we ever do that, just turn it upside down so it doesn't, if it rains. We've got this bit of stuff and that. I reckon another two at least, isn't it? At least you've got the floor to scrape. The floor to scrape to. Sounds. Go on, give us a demo. Here's a demo of the uh, speed. We'll follow it. So this is where we need a bigger tipper that can take three ton and then we can take like a pretty good load then and we're not stop start stop start so I'll see how long it takes us now to fill the tipper with a ton but it doesn't take long, it takes long as a drive to the place. But this should have been done as and when it was getting dug, not not double lever. We all hate double lever. See how these two are getting on. Oh, turn your music down, Ben. Nice. So you're getting that juice hanging on and then this one goes in. Lovely. Well, when I say, just get two in And you've got the boards up as well. Two in the top and the bottom. That's mad, isn't it? One of the holes is kind of got a game plan, isn't it? Yeah. He's just drilling it. How does that work? So does it lap on the top? It laps over on the top, doesn't it? Uh, I don't get it, that one looks more heavy duty. Like for whatever reason it tells you one one of each. Yeah. But like I would have thought they'd be more weight on this end. It just was where the stairs. Yeah. So you fear the stairs go inside the wall and that other bit, don't you? So looking good. And you've got the boards up ready to go up. Nice. And the steels are here. So hurry up, come on, we've got to get the, st the ridge in. That's on that wall over there. Have you done it? Nice. I like the way we've still left the blinds on. Uh, so 
So we can just move the van back. And it's less labour than uh, having to shuffle it round on the on the tipper. So we'll get another little pile here and then I'll take this and maybe get one more in today. We'll see. So I just thought I haven't done a montage for a bit. Lovely. Cool, aren't you? Hey, bit of engineering. Would you use them again? If you were doing like an extension or something than yours, would you think? See you tomorrow. So we've got the boards ready to go up. Oh, massive. We've got all the 4B2 to stud all these. So we're going to stud all the external walls um, and insulate them and also we double stud, so we put 4B2 screwed into the brickwork loads of times and then we put another one over that and then we put our double 8B2 on that one into the wall and from that one to that one and basically the weight's just all spread onto these walls as evenly as we can. So you can see we've got like bolts every, every other, well every hole at the minute, um, taking the load. So this, this system I feel is better because uh, I mentioned it to Ben about the steel. So, oh, I haven't got a thingy one at the minute. So when we use steels, uh, we'll use like say a 102, 203, 102. So that means that the steel that's on the pad stone is 102 millimetres. And then we're saying, oh, like, are these bolts going to be enough to hold this floor? And I said to him, I went, well, add it up. I said... <laughs> Add 16 mil times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 160 mil. So it's it's actually 60 mil more than the steel is. And rather than it all be focused on one one brick, it's spread across all the bricks. So I feel like this system's miles better. You know, you're gonna get less. Hopefully less movement, less bounce, less, uh, it's just stronger and it's tied in better. Whereas the steels, you don't really get any lateral restraint because you, you're running a steel from there to there in the middle. You've got lateral restraint on that middle bit, but you've only got a brick on the party wall either side. Um, but yeah, good. It's moving, moving quick now. These boards are going to go up. We'll get that floored. We've got the steel downstairs for the ridge. We've got the chimney stack out, so we can just take that bit out, put the pad stone in, get it straight across to here. Um, and then we're ordering the dormer timber then. So, yeah. Happy happy with that. I don't know I don't know what to do, whether, we, whether we'll use these for the dormer timbers or, um, or whether we'll just use normal 9B2s. I'll have a little think of that. But yeah, it's just about this stage of the job. Like we've massively improved the um or like the structural of this house now. You think this is all tied in together, that floor's all tied in together. This would have been crappy ceiling joist otherwise. So yeah, good, good, good.